Gate is the fourth in a series of video collages I've made. And each collage relies on film samples. So I'm using existing film footage that's been reconfigured into this kind of digital tableau. And in each case, I'm telling kind of an epic human story through the prism of pop culture, specifically uh, with film. And Heaven's Gate was a peculiar uh, project because the inspiration really came from the year 2020. And I think with the new cycle and the pandemic and the re-election campaign all consistently kind of being on our minds, it affected some of the content in the piece. So the piece tells the story about ascension and evolution, but it also tells the story about an empire on uh, teetering on collapse in a way. Within the piece itself, it contains many, many loops. So you're looking at between 20 and 30 characters looping, kind of trapped in amber of time in, within the canvas, the digital canvas. But as the main character, the, the, the protagonist of the piece uh, is um, a non-specific human that is ascending. And as he ascends, you, he also is descending into a state of chaos. So therefore, I decided it would be an interesting idea to take the entire canvas and loop it so that as he, he's, your eye is traveling with him and then you associate yourself with different characters which, like him, represent each section, each of the seven levels of pur purgatory, if you will. And when you get to the very top, you find yourself back at the original soul which which draws you back up so i think there's a an interesting kind of dichotomy between ascension and the descent into chaos so there's there's thematic elements and there's thematic reasons for having done it that way I've always been a huge fan of surrealism and cubism. Uh, and I think that form can create order from chaos. So I think when you're looking at this much information, all uh, collaged together from different sources, I think it's useful to have a certain visual rule, visual guide that provides the eye with a, a, a point of travel. And I think if you look at um, totem poles, which is the inspiration for the physical installation, is the Native American totem poles, where the story is told bottom to top, and it also incorporates elements of symmetry in, in, a, in a very different way. So I thought it was very useful to adopt these kind of tropes from other art forms into the work to give it some order, and, and the symmetry does that. I think, it, uh, I think what viewers may take from this is it's always an emotional journey. And I think anything to do with time-based media, especially where most people are kind of bombarded with images and, and film uh, clips and all of this all day long, I think there's an emotional response to certain uh, visual material. And I think on one level, I would hope that it affects you in a visceral way. So if there's an, a section that can produce anxiety, there's a section that's meant to produce kind of enlightenment and tranquility. So you go through this arc of emotion with the visuals I've used. And on another level, I think it tells a story about 
a very primal story about mankind and the kind of cycle of life that we go through and the kind of contemporary challenges that we face as a culture, as a society, and politically. So I think there's there's that level, which is, I would, the subtext, and the visceral level, which is more uh, immediately obvious, but nonetheless, hopefully emotional as well.